make some decisions and I think that the leadership that we're looking for has to come from business very very important now because business carries uh, more authority and they carry uh, the economics of the world today uh, we're bound together much closer than we were so many years ago a thousand years ago we're 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 neighbors and we're bound together by electronics we're bound together by technology and the world has become quote a market and it's this market that we have to deal with and it's this idea of boundless and endless resources and when you say resources you're talking about our relatives you're talking about our family fish are our family it's not a resource it's a family it requires all the respect the structure of the world itself is such it functions on natural law and the natural law is a powerful regenerative process there's a process of regeneration that continues and grows and is endless it's absolutely endless if everyone agrees to the law and follows the law but if you challenge the law and you think you're going to change the law then you're bound to failure and then that failure will be a lot of pain because the natural law has no mercy it is only the law earth is all-powerful wasn't made here for human beings he said we're part of it but we don't have to be here because the earth has its own process and if it becomes to the point where you destroy yourself as human beings and you destroy life and finally leave this earth the earth's not going to disappear there's not going to be an end of the world that's really a very interesting concept to us no the world won't end people's life on it will so it's not the end of the world you're talking about it's the end of us and the world no matter what damage you think you've done to it will regenerate will re-green will redo everything that was here at one time except there won't be any people because it's got all the time in the world I said now as you're coming down the final stretch you're racing towards the finish and there is the stone wall and you're not pulling your horse you're not stopping you're not you're in fact accelerating I said now that's the way I see the use of what you call resources you're using them faster than they're reproducing and you're headed towards that disaster and none of you are pulling your horse I said take the example of a car race or racing cars they have a yellow flag when there's an accident or something a yellow flag comes out everybody gets into line and they slow down and they have sort of a common sense about that at least I said do you have a concept of a yellow flag is there a yellow flag amongst your ideas or your thinking here and one of the gentlemen and they were all men maybe 50 to 60 65 he said you know he said I understand what you're saying but to answer your question no we can't we can't pull our horse as you say because he said 
We have to show a profit. As a CEO, I must show a profit. If I don't show a profit, he said, I'm fired. Simple as that. I'm out of a job. I have to show a profit. I said, to who? He said, to you, the stockholder. I said, well, are you uh, married? He said, yes, I am. I said, do you have children? He said, yes, I do. I said, do you have any grandchildren? He said, I have two, two boys. I said, when do you cease to be a CEO and become a grandfather? There was a lot of silence there because that was a moral question. And if you don't have a moral question in your governing process, then you don't have a process that's going to survive. That's the governing law, the moral question. You must have a moral society or you won't have any. He couldn't answer the question and neither could anyone else because it was a moral question. That's what we have to get back to. So they said, well, <laughs> got kind of heavy silence there. So they said, look, you're an you're a Indian and we keep hearing about Indian prophecies. Can you give us a prophecy? Can you tell us a prophecy? And of course, I told him a lot because I know a lot of them. But at that particular moment, I said, certainly I can. And I can guarantee it. I said, really? Well, what is it? I said, next year you'll meet and nothing will have changed. And again, there was silence. We're moving in a very direct line to that stone wall. I do not believe personally that we have passed the line or the, the point of no return. But we're approaching it. We're approaching it. And every day that you don't do what's right is a day that you've lost an option. And you're losing your options every day.